Hello my YouTubers, my followers, my people who have interest in what I'm up to, you know, my people who don't like what I'm saying, anybody who, anybody who wants to watch me anyways, you know, here I stand with a pretty bright moon, almost pretty full, or fairly full, and I'm in the dark of night here. Just some trees. I'm going to make a shift so you can see a tree go in front of the moon there. And I've got the ocean behind me here. So I'm all lit up really well. You know what I look like, so I'm very bright in the moonlight. It's that bright of a night, not a cloud in the sky. I'm standing in an area where I know for sure they, um, you know, the Bigfoot hang out, you know, or at least show their presence here quite often, whether it's just to work or cut through or to come for a certain kind of grub. But anyways, where I'm standing right now, they obviously don't live here, but they do groom the trees and stuff here, so... I got no flashlight except for my camera here, and I'm not using it or anything, but you know, I just look at the history of what's been going on here, and I think about the history of you know I'm sure there's some bad ones out there, but but I just don't know how much us humans have been affected by them in a negative way when there seems to be such a large presence of them here. You know, it's just too much work for a small community to do. You know, especially in so many different locations that I've found, right? So, being it if it, were, if it is just ends up being one species, then, you know, there's a lot of them. If there's more than one species, then... You know, there could be a lot of two species or a lot of one of the species and a few of the other, right? But we'll figure that all out in time. So, you know, I guess I'm basically saying that, uh, you know, it's not that super scary to be out here and be more afraid of a bear coming along than anything at this moment, this point, from what I've been educated, really more so in these last four months than ever before in my life. I never, before four months ago, I never thought to look for a track mark of any sort for a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch. You know, I obviously would think that you would, might come across a big footprint someday. Like human, you know, the odd story is like that, right? So, but other than just having that thought, I never thought to look for anything. So, and then, you know, around four months ago, my my door got totally opened up into a new world, and it's very interesting. And I'm having a lot of fun and a lot of different uh, documentation of different research and findings and understandings of these guys. And I've been back and forth on a number of different things, but they're a hundred percent real and they're a hundred percent here, and they're a hundred percent a fairly large number, and they're a hundred percent one species that is different than a human obviously and you know showing a lot of signs of maybe two to three other uh, in total I don't know maybe more than three species so we got a whole sea of a world on land too you know it might not be as big as the ocean and have as much information as the ocean but on land we got a lot of stuff going on that we actually don't know about and uh, yeah Come and be a pioneer. Take care. It's the Tin Man.